So let me ask you this: What if I offered you right now a magic potion? Okay, like small drink of magic potion. Now, when you drink this potion, your mind, body, and spirit is suddenly working in a total unison. That state of flow. Suddenly, everything seems to click, and you already have that niche skill set nobody has, and you have this marketing, high ticket patients, leads, and prospects suddenly coming into your door, and then you have no issue whatsoever communicating with your patients, and every single patient that you talk to, they pay out of pocket. If I give you this. Magic potion. Would you take it? Let me give you this magic potion in this episode. Welcome to the Podiatry Profits Podcast, where you will discover how to get more patients and multiply the profits of your practice with minimally invasive foot surgery, proven marketing systems, and ethical influencing to your patients. And now, your host. Board certified podiatrist, best selling author, speaker, and founder of TJ On Coaching and Consulting, Dr. TJ On. Welcome to Podiatry Profits Podcast. Today I am going to talk about a very unique subject. Well, it could be unique, could be、uh, something that you might say, oh, here we go again, this subject. But I have to talk about it. You know, this. Is is the one of the most critical subject, but often、uh, often ignored. Okay, so today's subject is about mindset. So that's why I titled this "What the Heck is Seven Figure Mindset." So let me ask you this: What if I offered you right now a magic potion? Okay, like small drink of magic potion. Now, when you drink this potion, your mind, body, and spirit is suddenly working in a total unison, and that state of flow. Suddenly, everything seems to click, and everything seems to be like meant to be, and you already have that suddenly niche skill set nobody has. And you have this marketing, that high-ticket patients, leads, and prospects suddenly coming into your door, and then you have no issue whatsoever communicating with your patients. And every single patient that you talk to, they pay out of pocket without any resistance or objections. If I give you this magic potion. Would you take it? I'm on purposely. I'm purposely giving you this pause, cause I I want to give you some time to think about it. Would you take this magic potion? Well, my answer without hesitation, heck yeah, right? I mean, what's wrong with that? Taking this magic potion, it'll change your practice, your perspective, your revenue, your profit, everything in unison and flow. Why not? Okay, what if this magic potion is something to do with that mindset? Would you believe me? I have so many proofs. It is true. It's in your mind, your how you set up your mindset. That's your magic potion. You see, I work with many doctors now, right? Not only seeing patients Monday, Thursday, Saturday. As of、uh, January two thousand twenty-one, I work two and a half days a week. I rest of the week. It's not like I don't work. You know, I still love helping people working. So I help other doctors as my clients. And you know, before they enroll to my different mentorship programs, different level of programs, I、um, I talk to them because it, it's it's not only. For doctors to qualify me, right? Find out if I'm if I'm a good coach or consultant to work with me. I also qualify them 
because I want to make sure we are right fit. You know, if we are not a right fit, there's no point working together. You see, um, of course, money is important, but I'd rather work with doctors who I believe I can help and have fun working together um, than, uh, you know, not being able to help or not being a- able to uh, cooperate or collaborate. Does that make sense? So it's a mutual quali- qualifying process. That's why it's mandatory for me. I don't blindly take up on um, clients. You know, we do have that uh, session, you know, discovery session and strategy session together. Anyway, what I'm trying to say here now, I see so many doctors and two groups. One is positive, eager, motivated, uh, willing to try something new. The other group, it's so much negativity, self-doubt, suspicious, complainer. So, you know, without me knowing them or them knowing me, You know, you usually meet over the Zoom video conference or telephone. You know, so especially let's think about telephone. All I hear is their voice. You know, it's still powerful, much more effective than texting or email, right? Because it can uh, kind of send wrong messages like because there's just the context of text and email. It's hard to uh, hard to include that emotion or or a cadence or rhythm of your you what you want to say in email or text but on the telephone i can hear them right and they can hear me but then negativity self doubt complaining you know that type of you know it it just kind of mixed in that voice right and then you just create a negative vibe and you know like wrong chemistry i mean how how would you expect good things and positive things will happen to someone who's always in so much negative state? Because I teach doctors in the uh, Seven Figure Mindset special program about negative feedback and positive feedback loop, right? So if you start coming from that angle, perspective of, Oh my God, you know, my life is terrible. It's just not working. I don't know how long I can survive. Uh, You know, when is next patient coming in? How can I pay payroll, next payroll to my employees? Um, You know, all, all this negative stuff, right? It's in all, it's all in your mind. And you think about it right now, where does this negative uh, mind coming from? The answer is that you have somehow established these beliefs, okay? So you have these negative beliefs in your system, in your mindset, like as a podiatrist, I'll never be successful. Uh, you know, that type of thing. I'm not going to be able to make money. Enough money to support my family. I'm never going to be good enough to become seven-figure practice owner. You know, this type of mindset, right? So you have these beliefs I just I just told you. But if you go deeper, each of these negative beliefs have evidence. So that's your job. If you want to get out of this mindset, to have a seven-figure mindset, that magic potion I told you at the beginning of this episode, you need to sit down, maybe give yourself one hour, quiet, not distracted, turn off your cell phone, Start writing down your negative beliefs. Think deeper. What evidence support that belief? 
each belief. I'm not going to go too detail, too much detail in this episode, but I want to throw a question at you, challenge you. That have you ever thought, reflect back to yourself instead of blaming external factors and environmental issues? You know, look, look and think inward just for one time, one hour. Do you have these negative beliefs and do you have this negative evidence that supports the negative beliefs? Only then you'll be able to bust that belief by crushing each evidence that supports that phantom wrong belief you have created. Okay, so when you start doing that, you'll see the light at the end of the tunnel. And universe finally will open up their arms. You know, again, could it be higher power? If you believe in God, it is God. Only if you open yourself to it. Not hindered and clouded by negative beliefs and negative evidence that supports that beliefs. And when you start developing positive mindset, universe will align with you. As soon as it's it's like paper thin difference, okay? One side versus the other. It's only paper thin. I know for some of you feel like it's a huge wall, like concrete wall that you need to break and bust. I mean, it could be, but everything's relative. It's just how you nail down your belief system. Okay, then you will go turn and change into positive. Then it will develop that commitment to change and it will give you also determination give you that drives that tenacity okay and if you want to do that you got to be resourceful one doctor I talked the other day on the phone he says basically classic example of this negativity okay TJ but I'm sure you're not going to work with doctor with no money that's the first thing he says I'm sure you're not going to work with doctors who don't have money. What do I say? You know, that kind of attitude, that kind of negativity to start with bitter, assuming the worst scenario, and that's like predominant, predominantly in his mind, you know, you need to bust that belief. How do you know I don't work with doctors who have no money. How do you assume that? Right? It could be completely different than how I operate my business. But don't assume first and then you're just calling me to confirm. But do you do you think um, I'm going to just hang up the phone? No. I mean, every single doctor I talk to I still try to serve, you know, to the level that they need to hear. So I'm not going to go completely different level uh, to, you know, certain doctors. I have to change my attitude, my speech, my tone of voice, uh, subject, suggestion and advice. It's all depending on that doctor, each doctor, each person I talk to. What I can tell you is that I work with many doctors who don't have money or who's, who are struggling. I mean, if you think about it, if you are already super successful and you have just so much money already and you don't know what to do with that money, why would you call me, right? What's the definition of a consultant? You know, I want to make your life, personal life, business life better, right? And more than 80%, I should say, they come to seek for my help because they're struggling financially, right? So how would you think that I don't work with any doctor who don't have money? That's not the case. The answer is to see if you are resourceful and how much committed you are. 
That's more important to me. If you, you, you'll be shocked. Even if you think you have no money to invest, if your mindset is different, committed, positive, motivated, willing to change, willing to transform, suddenly all those resource, resources that you didn't think existed, it'll show up. Try it if you don't believe me. Try it. If you want something so badly, strong enough, then universe will find you the way, that resource, so you can move on, you can advance. That's how the world works. That's how the universe works. So be careful about those negative belief and negative self-talk. You know that self-talk? You might be mumbling and thinking in your head or actually you're, you're talking by yourself. Watch out because that's potentially and more than likely personal conversation with the universe. That is your conversation with the universe, your self-talk. So if you uh, want your universe to align with you in negativity, good luck that you're going to be successful. I haven't met any single person, not only podiatry world, but other businesses, other, other professional. I haven't met a single person who has a negative attitude and aptitude and negative mindset and successful. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode that is almost like a kind of rant style a little bit, you know, but I'm, I'm so almost upset to see talking to many podiatrists and many other medical professionals who are struggling. And just like first three minutes I talk to, I kind of see why. You know, everything is just kind of blaming external factors and excuses and complaining. You know, entrepreneurship as a private practice owners, it's who says it's, it's a smooth ride? It's the part of the game. It's a fun to be in a roller coaster. Roller coaster, it's not smooth sailing. Okay, don't expect smooth sailing. You'll see, you'll meet with so many different obstacles and roadblocks that you never thought. We cannot expect everything, right? So there's an unexpected uh, crisis, roadblocks, uh, struggles, ups and downs. That's all part of the journey. So you might as well take that positively. Okay, hey, universe is testing me again. They want to see my resilience. They want to see my determination. They want to see my commitment. Bring them on. I'll take them in. I'll pivot. I'll be proactive about it. And I'll fix it. And I'm going to improve myself. And I'm going to continue to grow. I'm going to continue to go scale up. Bring them on. That's the attitude. That's the self-talk you want to have with the universe. And believe me, it'll happen. So I hope this episode helps you uh, think about mindset slightly in different perspective. Now, um, what can you do, right? Well, number one, continue to listen to my podcast episodes. You know, I cover not only minimally invasive surgery as a niche, but this type of stuff, mindset, medical marketing, and how to communicate with your patient with persuasion techniques, um, influencing techniques, strategies and tactics. It will help you. And number two, you can join my free Facebook group. It's called Podiatry Profits Facebook group. So you can find that under the uh, description below of this uh, episode. Click that. If you are in Facebook, join our Facebook group. All these things, you want to put yourself in a positive environment. That's all. If you're surrounding yourself in a positive environment, most of the things you hear and see and those are all positive, it will influence you. Correct? Okay, number three, start taking action. If you think I mean, or if you liked this episode, for example, you can leave me a comment. You can like, give me thumbs up, positive review, 
do something positive, do something giving, then you shall receive, just like Bible says, right? So you want to start taking action toward developing that positivity. Lastly, if you seriously need my help in this field, developing niche, red, or either implementing medical marketing, organic or paid advertisement, or learn how to talk to your patient and sell your treatment solutions to your patients without being uh, salesy, manipulative, or pushy, you got to do something about it, right? If you struggle, you, if you really need help, I offer a free strategy session for you, like I mentioned in the beginning. So there's a link below. Click the link, schedule a call either with me or my team. It depends. I have limited slots. As you know, I'm pretty busy, but I still want to serve. Again, I want to be successful in consulting, but I want to be only successful because in the, as a result of helping you improve your personal life, your business life, tangible results-driven outcomes such as seven-figure practice, 30% increase in your profit margin, you know, some kind of tangible KPI, key performance indicator. I, I work on that, the results-driven, outcome-driven consulting, action-oriented, no theories. I hate theories. I want to show, like, don't tell me, but show me. That's kind of my motto. Don't tell me, but show me. And that's how I operate. So if you want to talk to me or my team, book a strategy session. No cost to you. It's complimentary. We get to know each other. Otherwise, it's always pleasure and it's always honor to serve you from many different channels I try to provide. YouTube, podcast, Facebook group, my email, my programs. I want you to be successful with that seven-figure mindset. Be positive, be committed, driven with tenacity, and be resourceful. Be resourceful. Sounds good, sounds good. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hey everyone, this is Dr. TJ An. I just opened up a texting community for medical professionals like you, which means you can text your questions. Right now, I'm spending anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes every single day through these text messages, answering questions directly to people in my community. So it's really quick and simple. I want you to stop everything you're doing right now and pull your phone out and actually text me a message. The phone number you text is 312 312- 847-3180. Once again, it's 312-847-3180. When you text me, just type hello. And what's going to happen is that you'll get a reply from me right away to add me to your phone contacts. And I add you to my phone. Then we can start having conversations. On top of that, through this texting community, I give you free resources, free copy of my book, and any exciting upcoming events, live or virtual and whole a lot more. Also, I send you some of my favorite quotes, medical business frameworks, strategies, and tactics you get for free only through my texting platform. So what you need to do right now is to pull out your phone and text me hello at area code 312-847-3180. One more time is 312-847-3180. I am so looking forward to hearing from you right now. You've been listening to the Podiatry Profits Podcast with Dr. TJ Ahn. To find out more about Dr. TJ Ahn or discover how you can grow your podiatry practice, visit drtjahn.com. Or you can also get a free copy of Dr. Ahn's best-selling book, Opt Out, How to Take Back Financial Control of Your Private Clinical Practice Without the Hassle of Insurance Companies. Just go to optoutbook.com.